Rogue One, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of American Minuteman Gear. Probably your favorite series if you've been watching this channel for a while. Maybe the other one would be my book reviews. I don't know. Maybe you don't really know what either one of these things are and you don't really care. Uh, so today we're going to talk about hydration options. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Pathfinder stainless steel mug tin mess kit set thing. So let's go to the table. Okay, so this is the Pathfinder. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see it there through the uh, burning muck or whatever, but uh, this is the Pathfinder canteen, okay? Uh, quick overview here. So it comes with the canteen, obviously, right? Which uh, has this pretty wide lid. We'll talk about that, that's nice. Uh, the cup, uh, hold on, there we go. Cup with a little fold out handle thing here, okay? And then uh, a little, um, I don't know what this is called. Stove top thing, you know, you put wood in here and burn it, right? Start a fire, and then you can set your cup on there and you can boil water that way. And then uh, the lid, okay? And I bought this uh, for 60 bucks, I think, give or take. Uh, obviously not made in America. I'm assuming it's manufactured in China. I don't know, it probably says on their website. Uh, oh, that, that's the proper way, so the curves, curves are edge there. But, um, so I've used this a little bit, you know, as you can, as you can tell, right? And uh, here are my current thoughts on it. So we're talking about this for an American Minuteman kit setup, right? So we're talking about it in terms of uh, going, you know, in your chest rig. By the way, this, this can fit in the Spectre chest rig if you're interested. Uh, it's tight, but it, it'll fit. Um, or, or having this in your ruck or whatever for, in my mind, this is for extended field use. One, I don't like plastic canteens if I can help it. I'm trying to minimize plastic in my kit. I have enough microplastics in my body. So, you know, I wanna be healthy while uh, fighting the communists. So, um, I, I prefer something uh, metally, right? So, that's one of the reasons I like the stainless steel. The second, and probably the biggest reason you would buy this is because then you can drop it in the fire right? You can heat this up, you can boil water in it. Either for purification purposes or cooking purposes or whatever, you can boil water in it. And that is a pretty big advantage. Again, if you're like, ah, oh, Dylan, look, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to use an MRE because I'm just going out. For, first of all, MREs suck. But if you're like, I'm just going out for like, you know, 10 hours or 12 hours. Well, do you need this? Ah, probably not, right? If you're doing short rangey stuff. But if you're doing anything longer than 12 hours, Having a hot meal makes a big difference. If you don't believe me, go do a semester at One Shepherd or SNS Training Solutions, or uh, I was looking at the Jaeger course with Mike von Steuben uh, recently. Like, like go, go do something like that, an extended multi-day field course. And you're gonna find that being able to boil water and then you know make, I've cooked pasta, uh, not in this one and my other one, but if cook pasta in it or, or warm up some can of beans or make some tea or coffee or whatever, it makes a difference. It sounds silly, but having the ability to boil water makes a big difference just from a morale perspective. And I think that's worth considering being able to carry this, this kit. So that's one, that, that's kind of the American Minuteman multi-day perspective is, is where I think this comes in. Again, if it's just five hours or eight hours, do you need to, to tote around a stainless steel? Eh, maybe, maybe not, you know? But I do think it's nice because that you can have a one canteen to kind of rule them all thing. I tend to run a canteen in my uh, chest rig and then I run a um, Camelback in my ruck, right? So I'm, I'm sitting at around a gallon of water and that's just, that's how I do. Another thing that I like about this is that it has a super wide mouth. And so in the winter, if this were to freeze, there's plenty of room to get your knife in there and chip that out. Um, that, that's a pretty big advantage. This is like one of the only uh, wide mouth, like American, I don't think it's American made, you know, American designed uh, canteens that, uh, that I know that you, can, that you can do that with. So that's cool. Additionally, like we said, we can just boil it or heat it up, right? That's gonna fix that ice problem. But I really, really like the versatility of this set. The other thing is, you know, if you're into the more bushcrafty survival, which is originally, you know, what this is for, it's what Pathfinder Gear does, right? They do the bushcraft survival thing. Um, if you're into a little bit more of that aspect of the American Minuteman stuff, or you like doing field craft stuff, again, this, is, this gives you a lot of versatile options. Probably you know more about those than I do, because I'm not super into the bushcrafty stuff. But that being said, I know that self-contained within this kit, I have the ability to boil water, right? 
I just need to make some fire. I can put it in my uh, cup, put my lid on it, slap it on here, and I can boil water, right? I've boiled water in this. You can easily drain the water off just by putting, you know, hold with leather. Obviously, don't touch this with your bare hands when it's boiling. Uh, but then they have these three little vent holes. You can, you can drain water out through there. I've done that before. Um, so it's very, very versatile. Again, if you're looking at multi-day mission or kind of escape and survival thing, and I know fire can be iffy and escape and survival, just whatever. Um, you got options here, is my point. If you need to purify water, if you wanna cook with it, whatever, you got options. And that's what I think is really, really beneficial to this. And at 60 bucks, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Like for the money, this is probably the best one-stop shop there is that I've found currently. Uh, are there better options out there? Yeah, I'm sure. Are there worse? Yeah, absolutely. Are there cheaper? Yeah, I mean, like a, a military one quart canteen is like eight bucks, nine bucks, right? Super, super cheap. But for 50 bucks, you get the whole package, and again, you get that special ability to heat, cook, and boil water. Uh, well, use the boiling water for cooking, which I really, really like. So uh, we're gonna test fit this, and this is just a bad dye job on a standard uh, US canteen pouch here. So this should fit in here, which we are gonna find out. It is a little bit heavy. That is one of the downsides. When you get this all in here, like if you were to carry this whole thing, right, it's, it's a little heavy, it's stainless steel. I don't know the exact weight, but you can find it on the website. Uh, the good news is that, I mean, if you're looking at a standard USGI canteen pouch, I mean, it, it fits in there no problem. Uh, let's see if we can get the loop through. Oh yeah, yeah. So on a standard USGI canteen pouch, you are gonna make it, okay? So if you run standard USGI canteen pouches, um, you're gonna fit, no problem. Okay, with the whole, the canteen cup and the, the little fire stand, the whole thing, okay? So that, again, if you have this on your, your pack or whatever, wherever you run this pouch, you can easily slap it in there and now you are set. And, and easily set, you know what I mean? Like this isn't like a tight fit, this is, this is pretty easy set. So that's, that's a cool deal. Uh, that, that gives you, again, it just gives you options to your already existing kit. Chances are if you're running canteens already, you already have these pouches. Um, getting this cup out though is a little tough, I'll tell you that right now. This is the first time I put this in here. Um, I've never done this before. Um, and I'm seeing right now, there we go. I usually don't run uh, these pouches, right? It was getting caught on this on this lip right here uh, where you set the um, the handle, right? I will say, I gotta say, uh, I did have this handle fail on me once. I think that was user error, to be honest. Uh, I don't think that was, that was the actual thing, but you know, it has this little T-bar here that comes down and locks that in, and I was holding it, and the whole thing just, just like that, just fell. Um, so, this is maybe a little iffy. I would like if this sat a little deeper. Uh, I'm sorry. I would like if this T-bar sat a little deeper. It sits a little high, and I mean, it can just, oh, no, see, now there it's good. So maybe it was just user error. I guess I'm still figuring that part out. But it also, oh, there we go again, right? So it does have these uh, rings right here. So if you were to figure out a way to get that set properly, that's the one one thing, one feedback thing I would give them is to let that sit a little deeper. Uh, but you can run like a stick through here, right? So again, this is where you want it to sit deeper. Uh, but it has these rings so that you could run a stick through here, right? And then you can get some offset and use this whole handle to pick it up. So if it was on a fire and something and you put a, you ran a stick through here, then it gives you kind of a handle so you can do a makeshift kind of field handle. That's cool. Um, like I said, just don't, See, now it's stiff there. So you just gotta play with this a little bit and get this T-bar to sit, oh, you can't probably can't see that. You just gotta play with this a little bit and get that T-bar to sit as low on the canteen as possible, or on the cup as possible. Other than that, there's not a lot of real drawbacks. That, that and I guess that it's heavy, those are probably your only drawbacks. But if you're looking for, just like I said, one-stop shop, one price, uh, or the best price for what you get, I think, I think this is really where it's at. I've enjoyed using this a couple times. Gonna continue to have it in rotation and use it. If I have any more thoughts or feedbacks, I'm sure I'll make a short about it here or there. But I hope that's helpful. Uh, I'll put a link down to this. I don't get anything for these, but if, if you like this thing and you wanna run it, well, knock yourself out. Do brave deeds and endure.